Hey guys, this is Snow from Capcom Unity. Uh, I know we promised you a Ustream. We haven't been able to do it because it, as it turns out at E3, there's about 50 kajillion people yeah. online. So what we're doing instead is we're going around to all the guys who are working on our games and talking to them uh, in person. Uh, and we're going to upload it. Hopefully you'll get this later on tonight. You're watching it tonight, I hope. Uh, so this is Ryan McDougall with me. Uh, so Ryan, what are you working on? Uh, uh, at the show, I'm working mostly with Ghost Trick, the new DS game coming this winter. Awesome. So, uh, why is it cool? <laughs> I, I think Ghost Trick is, is really going to do something surprising for a lot of DS fans. Uh, first off, the very first thing that happens to the character, you get shot to death, you die. How do you, how do you play if you're dead? That's a good question. The entire rest of the game, you play as a disembodied spirit, a soul, a ghost. Uh, you interact right. with the environment by possessing and manipulating objects. So... What can you manipulate? Uh, for instance, the very first, uh, call it a puzzle. Um, okay. You've got a, a scary assassin pointing a gun at a pretty girl. I think we all know what we want to do, save the pretty girl. Uh, Most people. Well, there's unity. Yeah. Um, but what we do in that case, we possess a crossing guard, a, uh, a toll gate. Um, and what we're able to do is raise it up, knock the gun out of his hand, and she can get away. Very cool. Sounds neat. Can you do anything uh, pretty horrendous? or? <laughs> well, I mean, th that example is literally the first thing that you can do in the game. It's very simple. It's sort of a one-man show. Um, that said, throughout the entire rest of the game, it layers on the complexity. Awesome. If you're familiar with the Rube Goldberg machine, yeah. you're essentially going to be creating those complex, you know, uh, in integrated you know, circuits of, of machines. Very awesome. Sounds really cool. So... Well, what, what's the story like? Is it, is it pretty uh, in-depth, or is it just going to be sort of top-line with the puzzle? I mean, uh, It's essentially a puzzle adventure game. What we're really focusing on is, is the story. Uh, it comes from the designer Shu Takumi, the original designer of the Ace Attorney series. Which these guys love. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's got that same color, the same wit, the same humor um, that the Ace Attorney, you know, it's all about the characters, the, the quirkiness to it. Awesome. Um, it starts out, you've, you're in that junkyard, um, you wake up with your dead body, and, and you see that assassin and that pretty girl. Uh, from there, you start trying to ask the questions of, why was I killed? Who was I? You know, why am I here above my corpse? Uh, but quickly, you start realizing that yeah. this, is not, this is not that simple. Awesome. Well, it sounds pretty interesting. I know from what little I've played, uh, I've done just the basics that you yeah. talked about, but... Uh, from my understanding, too, as you're saying, the story gets pretty complex, just like the puzzles. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about to these guys that, uh, you know, for them, for those of you, like, who may not have DSs, I mean, what, what's good for, you know, these guys to go out and try out? Well, I mean, why is it good to get a DS for this game? Uh, well, we've already had people say at the show that they're going to get a DS for this game. We've had awesome. an extremely positive reaction from the people here. Uh, whether it's the casual fans who come up and say, you know, this is a simple gameplay mechanic. I possess the object and then I manipulate it. Um, or the hardcore fans who are saying, hey, this is exactly what I want on the DS. This is a deeper, darker, uh, more funny storyline. So there's really something for everyone there. I, th I think it's going to be a really great game. Despite being a little dark, I'm a little confused at why, why there's a talking dog and a talking lamp. So fundamentally, Ghost Trick is, is a story of, of paradoxes, of contradictions. Uh, we're constantly aiming, from a design philosophy standpoint, to set up an expectation and then subvert it. Uh, the, first, the first thing that happens to you, you get shot to death, you die. But at the same time, I've been telling you it's a colorful, witty, funny game. Right. Um, the, the assassin that I'm talking about, he's got a solid gold shotgun, black hat, black sunglasses, black suit, very intimidating, vicious villain. Uh, that said, he's extremely nearsighted and can't see more than five feet in front of himself. <laughs> so, that's <laughs> so maybe that's why he carries a shotgun, short sure. range. Exactly. the the talk uh, the talking dog, the talking lamp. Um, they're they're characters in the game that do something to surprise you. Um, I think a lot of a lot of gamers out there, uh, the the stuff we see on the DS, it's it's good stuff, but it's not necessarily going to surprise most people. Right. Um, Ghost Trick is a game that will surprise you. Sounds good. Surprised me a little bit from what I played. I can't wait to play more, but I don't want you guys or anyone else to spoil it for me. I've been waiting until it comes out, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else you want to add? I mean, we know it's coming this winter, and, I mean, 
uh, stay tuned to Unity for all the latest uh, updates, and uh, you know it'll be there first. So. Sweet. All right, guys, we're going to do some more stuff. Hopefully, I can get some guys for Dead Rising, uh, maybe get Seth in here for Marvel. Uh, we'll try and get some more videos up throughout the night, and hopefully you'll see them. And if not, you'll see them throughout the week and the weekend as we uh, throw them up. And also, you guys may notice our cool little Astro Gaming headsets. These, uh, these are from Astro Gaming. They're awesome enough to, uh, to give us these specialized tags to go along with them. Here, I'll do a close-up. Each one of these serve bots is a little different, so uh, each side, each one of us has something different. So you can see Ryan's is actually his avatars from Capcom Unity, and mine's my avatar. So <laughs> anyway, if you guys haven't checked them out, go to astrogaming.com and uh, check it out. These are among the best, and I mean they're they're great for everything. I mean whether you're traveling, doing a a half live podcast, we're not going to edit this, so you're going to see exactly how. How goofy I am. So. You know, I think this podcast <laughs> makes perfect sense for broadcast because it's... We're not really broadcasting, though. That's the point. They're watching it, like, webcast, hours yeah. after. <laughs> My point being that this is not truly live, but yeah. it still has life. And yeah. I think that's the, the heart of Ghost Trick. <laughs> it's still... It's not it's not alive, but it has life. Yes. Sorry, did I just ruin it for everyone? <laughs> well, you already said he's dead, so... <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more stuff later on. Well, we will have stuff later on, and... Uh, I think we'll be able to show off some other cool uh, titles that Ryan's had a hand in too, like BCR2 and some other things. So uh, stay tuned.